to a Green Country Creek tonight. That leak can't be plugged until workers pinpoint the source, and it's something they've been looking for for three weeks now. News on 6 reporter Tess Monty says the site near Dewey is unusual for a well. Tess? Scott, it's unusual because wells aren't drilled in creeks, and the well in question was never intended to be in such a place. But over time, erosion pushed back the creek banks where that well was originally located, and it essentially swallowed the oil well. It's a messy, mucky mystery. Where exactly is this oil leak coming from? We need to plug the well, but we got to find it. John Hurd, field inspector with the Oklahoma Corporation Commission, says there's an oil well somewhere in this area that was abandoned possibly a century ago. Hurd says he suspects at some point the well quit producing enough oil to turn a profit, so the operators shut it down, taking every bit of equipment with them. So what we end up with is the hole in the ground, which makes this 50 times harder to find because we've had we've gone over this whole area with medical detectors. The leak was spotted about three weeks ago, and ever since, workers have been trying to unearth the well. Heard says it could be buried some 600 feet under the Earth's surface. So they drilled into that. Now it's beginning to pressure up, and it's pushing the fluids to the surface, and they're breaking out in the shale. Right now, the oil's contained because a series of dams like the one that I'm standing on have been built to keep the oil from moving up Coon Creek. As far as wildlife is concerned, Hurd says so far the leak is having very little effect. The majority of the oil was safely flushed from the water. I have not seen one dead minnow. That just amazed me. We have no dead fish. For now, contaminated soil is being pushed to one side for the EPA to inspect. That's the least of my worries right now. My biggest worry is this hole in the ground. So that, that's what I'm looking for. A tedious process with no sure end in sight. Heard says at this point it's really impossible to say when they'll find that well, but once that does happen, crews will anchor it, mark it, mark it, then plug it with cement to stop the flow. Tess Monty, News on 6 tonight.